Hey guys, everyone needs web traffic to make money online. In this video, you're going to learn how to write viral blog posts, keyword research tips, free versus paid traffic, and much more. So continue watching to the very end. There's a huge opportunity to make money online. The problem is it's not easy or everyone would be doing it. So what's the missing ingredient? The secret is getting traffic and lots of it. Highly targeted traffic can come free or with paid methods. I'll show you a little both in today's video. So please close attention and make sure to watch all the way through. Traffic is the key to making sales. And it's also the lifeblood of your online business. If you have the right strategies, you can increase visitors that come to your business online. If you don't have a blog, I'd recommend starting one soon. Why? Because content marketing can produce floods of targeted traffic year after year. And it becomes a powerful passive income generator for you. So how does content marketing work? It's simple. Create content that's valuable and draws customers towards you. Your visitors will come back and even share your articles when you do the following. Provide free value, demonstrate your knowledge and expertise on a specific niche. They trust you and you provide entertainment as well as information. So how often should you blog? Most experts recommend three to four posts per week, although once per week is okay. You can click the link in description if you'd like to learn how to blog. Here are some blogging tips to help you get started. Create headlines that visitors will be enticed to click on. Use long tail keywords to help rank your articles. Post content that is at least 800 words and share it. Promote each blog post on your social media. SEO, or search engine marketing, is crucial when it comes to creating high quality content. Basically, SEO is a series of techniques that can help your website reach the top of Google. Here's the secret, keyword research plus valuable content. That's really all it comes down to. There are many books and courses you can purchase if you'd like to know more about the subject of SEO. Google uses keywords to recognize content of a web page, and this allows them to know who to show it to. The goal is to have your web page shown to as many people as possible. That's why keyword research tools are so helpful they can help you find keywords that a lot of people are searching for. There are paid and free keyword search tools available. I found that the free ones are okay for brainstorming and getting ideas, but the paid tools are better to zero in on high traffic keywords that are profitable with low competition. As a good rule, you should include your keywords into your article every 100 to 200 words. So just be careful not to overdo it with the selected keyword. Here are some suggestions on where to use keywords. Your first paragraph, last paragraph, the title, meta descriptions, and alt tags. Using a plugin such as Yoast SEO, it can help you and it's free to download. Avoid short or medium keywords, which are one or two words, and aim for long tail keywords that are three to five words. A good free tool is Google Keyword Planner tool. Create an account, then select option for discover new keywords. Enter a keyword in your search criteria. Then click get results and browse through keywords. You can get a free trial to a paid keyword research tool using SEMrush. Download my free ebook in description to learn more about SEMrush. This is my favorite paid tool because it helps you locate high volume traffic with low competition and spy on your competitors. Free versus paid traffic. Free traffic is awesome because it's financially costs you nothing. The downside is it's free. That means that anyone can use it. So you will have a lot of competition and it takes a long time before your results show such as making new sales passively. In order to be successful with free traffic, focus on the following. Provide value, be consistent, and build a tribe of followers. 
paid traffic is the absolute best way for immediate visitors to your website. The most popular ad platforms are Facebook ads and Google ads. Google is great for split testing different search terms and you get access to a wide audience. Facebook is a bit different because it shows ads on home feeds of Facebook users. Now Facebook is best for targeting your ad based on interests and details of the user. Both ad platforms are powerful because as an advertiser, using PPC or pay per click advertising, you usually only pay if someone clicks on your ad. This means if your ad was not successful, it won't cost you and you get free exposure of your brand anyway. I recommend learning one ad platform before moving on to others when you're just starting out. I hope you found this video helpful and that it will help you increase your traffic and give you valuable information that you can use. There really are endless ways to drive traffic, generate sales, and build your brand online. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my blog and click the link in description for helpful tools that can help you grow your business online.